Welcome back to Body Politic PT Exercises. Today, we're doing hip ignition. Let's begin. Start by lying on your back with both legs flat. Bring one leg up so that your hip is at 90 degrees and your knee is relaxed. Then follow these simple steps. Step one, place the belt behind your thigh, firmly grasp the belt with your opposite hand as close to the leg as you can and relax all the muscles in your leg. Step two, place your same side hand on your deep six muscles. To find these, locate your femur, which will feel hard. Then slide slightly inward and you should feel a softer patch. Bend your fingers so that you can feel deeper into this divot. Now fire or activate these muscles. Step 3. Keeping these muscles active, gently push into the belt with about an ounce of pressure and hold. This is an isometric exercise, meaning you are maintaining activation of the muscle, but there's no movement. Another cue to help you activate these muscles properly is imagining the ball and socket joint of the hip. As you squeeze your butt muscle, imagine the ball sliding more tightly into the hip socket. Step four, turn the quad off. You might feel hamstring and core activation, which are both good. This exercise is categorized as fundamental, specifically working on the core stabilizers of the hip. This is one of the most difficult exercises to learn because of the amount of control and awareness that goes into isolating the glute muscles without turning the quad on. So don't be discouraged in the beginning and spend time doing the exercise. Eventually it will click. Developing the hip ignition skill will allow you to progress to more advanced exercises while keeping the hip stable. Thanks for stopping by for a body politic PT exercise tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to consult your personal PT if you have any questions, and we'll see you next time.